Hello class, and welcome to Introduction to Literature, or welcome again to Introduction to Literature. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of this week's work. Since this is the first week of studies, it'll be fast-paced, so you'll need to be as organized as possible. Your first priority is to begin reading The Great Gatsby, so as soon as you get the copy of the book, start reading it. Uh, remember, this is a literature course, so we'll be reading a lot over the next six weeks. Uh, more than likely, you'll have a book that you're reading at all times. So you want to carry it in your car, carry it in your backpack, ride the bus with your book, visit your parents with your book, hang out with your lover, your partner, your significant other, uh, and read that book to that lucky person. Or uh, have them read that book to you, whichever one works for you. Uh, if you want to sit in a corner quietly and read the book in a coffee shop, perfect. Uh, whatever you need, whatever you do is fine with me as long as you're reading the books. But remember, it's a literature course, so we need to be reading. Simultaneously, this week, I need you to do something else. Uh, I need you to look over the definitions of literary terms and literary devices that I've posted from the Purdue Online Writing Lab, or the Purdue OWL. Uh, Purdue OWL is one of the best online sources for information about writing, citations, etc. Uh, this is a very uh, this list is very helpful, and I want you to use these terms that the Purdue Online Writing Lab has created for you, and I want you to use them in your papers. Uh, this is going to be pretty important because if you can use them in your papers, that means you understand them and you know how they're used, and that's going to help you out a lot on the midterms. You'll be tested on these terms in the midterms, uh, and uh, and that's going to be important. Uh, but I also want to make sure that you understand the terms and know how they're used. So when you see them on a test, then you'll be able to understand the definitions. Uh, once you've done this, uh, we'll get started with the important part, which is the books. So uh, before you begin reading The Great Gatsby, or at least while you're doing it simultaneously, uh, what I need you to do is watch the introductory video to The Great Gatsby that I've created. I did this uh, in an interesting setting, uh, considering that the text has a lot to do with uh, speakeasies and fast life. Uh, went to a bar, a really beautiful bar, kind of family-friendly bar, oddly, uh, but this bar called The Elbow Room. And I sat there with uh, two friends of mine, Dr. Robin Blinn from the English department and my good friend Tony Bledsoe, who's a very well-read person. And we talk about The Great Gatsby. And uh, I wanted to use that setting because, again, I thought it was going to be appropriate for the text itself. I'll be doing that a lot during the next couple weeks. I'll be showing you different videos and uh, some of the settings will be somewhat related to the uh, text for the most part, maybe not always, but often related to the text in different ways, uh, just to spice it up a little bit. So at any anyway, rate, at any rate, uh, for bet, um, I wanted to mention that. So you'll be watching the video and then you'll watch the narrated PowerPoints that are posted online. You'll read the book, uh, respond to the discussions, and write uh, the weekly papers. And that's basically what most of our classes are going to be for the next couple weeks. So if you want to think about it like this, uh, once we get through this week, then what we're going to be doing is we're reading the books, we're going to be watching the videos, uh, any other supplemental videos that we have posted, PowerPoints, uh, and that'll, help, that'll be the supplement for a class itself. And then we're going to do the writing, which is, remember, it's a Gordon Rule class also. So the writing will take place through the discussion boards for your initial post, your response to a post, and then the weekly paper itself. So this is what we're going to be doing through the next few weeks. I know it sounds like a lot, and to some extent it is, but this is basically what a 16-week course is like, except uh, that a 16-week course is spread out over 16 weeks. For better or worse, we don't have that luxury of time. We have six weeks, which uh, I do think is, uh, I think the time is an important part of reading, being able to spend time and to uh, just marinate in the text itself. However, uh, it's the way it is. Uh, we have six weeks, so we're just gonna move through it. The good thing, though, is that when the course is over, uh, you may always revisit these works on your own. For now, uh, if you want to be successful, though, you'll need to be organized, which means staying on top of it, going through the books, and pacing yourself. One thing that I've learned over the years is nice ways to be able to pace myself when I'm reading. So if I have a long book that I have to go through, then maybe I set a 50-page-a-day goal uh, or a 60-page or 70-page-a-day goal and then uh, push through. But whatever it is, got to figure out the way to stay organized. So you have the books read first, and then you can work through the rest of the stuff. Right. Uh, but again, uh, staying organized can be very important for this text. So as all for this class, uh, as always, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'm happy to help. My virtual office hours are posted in the syllabus. Uh, and otherwise, I hope that you enjoy reading F. Scott Fitzgerald's classic. And to quote Rodney Dangerfield in Back to School, another 80s movie classic, uh, to quote Rodney Dangerfield when he was asked how he would characterize The Great Gatsby, quote, he was a uh, great.
And that's what I think this book is. Great. So at any rate, I hope that you enjoy it. And whatever you like, if you like it, dislike it, uh, we can talk about that too. Because that's what literary studies is, is a study of the work. And we don't always come to the same conclusions. Uh, and I want to see what you think about these texts. So, all right. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a great week. Happy reading.